When we talked about making the film initially, uh, there was only one person that we could consider casting, which was Jennifer Hudson. Not only because Miss Franklin, was it was her choice to cast Jennifer Hudson, but also who else can perform the role in terms of not just the singing ability, but the dramatic chops. Because um, clearly you can do a film without the person actually singing the songs. However, if you get the right artist and you're able to magically connect the creation of a song, which generally means you need the person to sing the song on film, with the right actress, there's just nothing better. She's not uh, mimicking Aretha. She's singing as Jennifer Hudson, but she's able to capture that internal essence. And um, I think a lot of it is because there's a lot of overlap between her story and Aretha's story that she can relate to. Um, but it's really, her performance is just spectacular. Like the joy of Aretha, the tough times of Aretha, um, the, the, the romantic relationships of, that Aretha had, the relationships with her family. This is an incredible role that goes through a lot of different stages and has, shows a lot of range. And Jennifer has just, all of her preparation, just her natural gift has taken it to the next level, outside of what a spectacular singer she is. When we were looking for a young Aretha, uh, you, know, you always hope that you're going to find that spectacular performer, but more often than not, it's, it's tough to find a perfect match. I mean, Sky was just remarkable. We saw her audition. It was game over the second we saw it. Uh, we knew we had a great actress and we knew we had a great singer, um, but it wasn't until um, she sang Jesus Be My Fence in the church when we saw her perform that we were just like, holy moly, this is just dynamite. And it makes you actually rethink about what the beginning part of this movie is, that you have somebody that charismatic leading off in the movie. But of course you had to because Aretha was that charismatic as a young kid. Liesl Tommy was uh, pretty committed from the get-go to put Marlon Wayans in this movie. Um, she had met him. Uh, she knew that uh, he had a charisma and a sexiness that people don't necessarily associate him with who watch his movies because he generally plays goofy guys in his movies. But when you get to know him, you see it instantly. And he, we knew he was a great dramatic actor because he's been he's had great dramatic performances in the past. And he came committed to to playing a role that's a very complicated character. He's extremely charismatic, uh, has a lot of uh, suave sex appeal. Um, is also the person who really pushes Aretha to find her voice. He doesn't find her voice for her, but he tells her the music she's recording is the music her father wants her to record at Columbia Records, and she should record her own music.